Don't touch anything. <laughs> it's the greatest find yet. Nothing compares to it. But it's definitely something you should hear. This is The Real Deal with Larry Lawton. Welcome to The Real Deal with me, Larry Lawton, and my co-host, Jude. We have Jude Angelina, formerly of The Rude Jude Show, is now going to be with us. He's with us. We're going to be giving the top news stories every other week, and we got a bunch of stuff planned. Jude, welcome to the first show of our partnership, if you want to call it that. Uh, we can call it whatever. Jude, can you give our listeners... Hey, yo. Go, well, first of all, let me do a few things before I start. First of all, I want to thank my sponsor, Oliva Cigar. They are the best guys. They really are. We smoke cigars. I'll be smoking one here in a minute. And uh, our book, Gangster Redemption, cookbook, scar, lighters, everything going crazy. Having a great time with it all, guys. Uh, now, let me just give everybody a hint what's going on. Uh, Jude and I have been friends for a while, a really long time. And Jude ended up, he's going to tell what happened, whatever, whatever the issue is. I don't know if there is even an issue. But he's going to tell everybody about his story quickly. And you guys remember him. We had the, some of the best podcasts right here. Jude is a professional. Been in series 20 years. And now he is with us. We're going to be doing top stories. We're going to be doing uh, current events. And back at back, I, I also say back events, meaning stuff you might only hear the fringe of that nobody wants you to hear. You're going to get the truth here. We are non-politically PC and all that bullshit, and we are straight up, and uh, we respect everybody. There's not a prejudiced man on this team, and uh, but we're going to tell it like it is. Some of this political bullshit or uh, uh, what they call PC prop. I don't even know what the fuck PC means, politically correct. Hell with that. I don't buy it. So, with no further ado, Jude, from China. tell them what's going on, buddy. That came from Maoist China. It's like, why? I, yo. What up, man? Larry, I didn't even know we was doing this. Like, I thought I was coming on your shit. I didn't know it was a thing. Oh, no, dude, awesome. we, dis- we discussed stoked. this for a while. You know, first of all, you, we discussed our doing this every other week thing. Well, I'm st- Larry, I'm dumb. <laughs> You're the farthest from dumb, dude. You know, you played I'm that for a while with, with this, the Jenny I, Jones like, show. I didn't know it was, I, I didn't know it was go time. You played, it with, you played it like that with the Jenny Jones show. Yeah, I'm like, I'm excited for you and I to do some shit together, but. But what? What's that? You said you excited for us, but but what? There's no but about it, bro. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, it, it, oh, you couldn't hear us. No, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. You broke up. Oh, it's broke like, up. It's good luck, man. Uh, so, yeah. Larry and I are here. I tripped and fell and lost my job, and now I am on my own. And I got to tell you, it's, it's quite nice. Uh, it's good. You 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 got out of jail at forty six. You was telling me, and I'm forty six right now, oh. and it's like that new beginning shit. Like it's it's starting out, starting out, and just going going forward. You know, Jude. You know why? You know, and I'm excited to tell the truth. You know, and I'm glad you are, Jude. And and, and there's no question in my mind. Somebody like you, who has not only a story to tell, is intelligent enough. You have a good work ethic, uh, and and you're going to show. And I'll, again, people like myself or whoever are here for you. And I can tell you one thing, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel that energy again, that, 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 that I want to go forward. You know, I'm now 62. I've been out for 16 years and I'm the happiest I've ever been, dude. I mean, ever. And I mean that, I mean, even when I had my millions and millions, all that bullshit, it, I'm really, really happy. First of all, Nick, welcome. You know, of course, Nick's the uh, hey. producer and he's here on the show <laughs> with us. And we love this because we have three different perspectives that Jude and I talked about. We have Nick, who's 26. We have oh, yeah. Jude, who's 46. And we have this old man who's 62, be 63 this year. So my thing is, we have great perspectives on the news, on yeah. current events, everything. And, and, and everyone in this room is willing to speak it like it is. And I, whether we curse each other out, whether we have fun, but we don't hate each other. We, we, we not, we're not going to leave this show ever mad at each other. Uh, we're going to enjoy this, and we're going to give you guys our truth perspective, if that's the case. Jude, tell them what happened. What happened with uh, uh, Sirius? Hey, Larry, now I remember. Yeah. Now, I, now I remember. remember. You brain dead. The fuck. boomer, the zoomer, the heck. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot on my mind, man. I got a lot on my mind. 
Yo, yeah, the Boomer the Zoomer the X. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, but Nick ain't like the name, so we was trying to figure out something else. Well, well like I said, we discussed this for... And I'm going to defer to him because he knows what these... Young we discussed are. this for a while, dude. You know, we discussed a few things. We've been discussing things for a while. It's like a test episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but nice there's test no episode. test. We know it works. I think the perspective well, no, of saying, the three uh, people the is setup, just off the chart. The that was Drew's idea, actually. The three... The three you, I was just saying the way we we're doing it. Quality yeah. wise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Test well, setup. Yeah, Larry, you like the you like the cool old dude. I'm like the grumpy, get off my lawn guy. And uh, Nick. Nick's like the gave up on life fucking zoomer. Like, <laughs> He's coming up a fucking <laughs> like just why like oh yeah wow. you're right. It's yeah, the you know, streaming it's services. It's the streaming. It's you know, the streaming the services. Are like the fucking viewers. Like you, you know, Jude. I I I, do, huh? I look at this Jude as, as such an opportunity to bring new content. I was just on a big show. I'm not going to mention it uh, to anybody yet. It's coming out in about 10 days because this is uh, Monday and uh, it's in probably seven days. This the show is going to come out, give or take. It's going to be a big show. You'll all hear about it. Uh, and boy, I'm in the company with some of the un most unbelievable people in the world. And I think that's pretty cool. But you know, I never sit there and let, let, you know, uh, rest on my laurels next week. Uh, actually, Nick and I are going to Nicaragua, and we're going there next for a week. week? Yes, yeah, next week, the 22nd, man. I mean, time is flying. Jude, is, is there anything before I can tell the audience? People know. Yo, can I say something, Larry? Yeah, I can say anything you want, man. Larry, Nick, Nick's looking. Nick's, Nick's, looking, Nick's looking way better now that he's, like, hanging out with you, man. He's got a little weight on his face and shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeding what him. I'm feeding like, him. He looks way better now. I just I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. He's got a little, you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little, little something. To him. He's got a little, he's see got a little the beard off. is working. I, I'm gonna give Nick. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give you Jude a lot of credit because he respects you a lot, and he listened to a lot when we talked to him for a long, long time, and sometimes too much. Sometimes he's too fucking cocky with me, which I you know you know that's that balance you better learn. But <laughs> but he uh, he's doing great. He really is. He's yeah. a hard worker. You know what I mean, Jude. He's such a hard worker. Uh, he doesn't complain. Uh, the things that you know are hard to find in young people today. Well, if it's hot outside, I will start. Oh, you do, bitch. Yeah, You're I do, bitch. Hunt with that. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. Go into prison. They don't give a don't shit. Don't give if me you're too much cold, credit. I will, that. bitch, about the heat. You will, Jude. <laughs> can you give our audience? People know who you are. Obviously, that's the easy part. They go back to our stuff. What, what happened? Did anything happen you could talk about at Sirius? Man, honestly, dog, like, basically, um, I always told the truth, and everything was getting politicized, and so, there was so much shit I just wouldn't even wouldn't even speak on. So, like, I kind of I was getting so fed up by everything being politicized that I just started talking about everything. Like, I just started talking about whatever I felt like talking about, and you know, or I wouldn't avoid certain things. What? Uh, before I was avoiding certain things because I was just trying to be an apolitical show. You, you, you see what I'm saying? But then once politics crept every fucking where, I was like, I don't, I'm running out of stuff to talk about. So I started just saying how I feel and how I feel is like, I'm, I'm like old school. I like, I like the throwback men, women shit. I don't think that the COVID shit was as big a deal as it, it seems like a psyop and a fucking way to like separate money. Like I'm kind of a conspiracy theory type person. Um, and they ain't like that. Well, and uh, some of my own people went behind me and stabbed me. Up. So that's it. Would you consider yourself just it, it, the show? It, the show's doing good. Is it like creative differences? Was that what it was? Let's call it what it is. I mean, you you wanted to go pretty much one way, uh, and he he wanted to go another way. They wanted to go another way. Well, the thing, yeah, the, the whole the whole station wanted to go another way, but the thing is, is like nobody in the country wants to go that way. You know that, like nobody agrees with them. Like we, you know, even if, like yo, nobody, like nobody agrees anymore. Like it's only like this many people that think that way. So, well, I was cool, but like once you see the data, like once the data is out, you're like, what the fuck are we doing here? You know, my my, my thought. So you know, my thought, Nat Jude, obviously is obviously you you were hired to be you. And obviously, even with us, you know, when we work out a bigger, longer term deal, whatever, you're going to be you. Uh, the minute I change and I won't change that. And 
you, it's not you then, and then you're just cowing to whatever. And that's why sometimes I don't get certain brand deals and all that bullshit. But you know, I I try to get like Nick. I'm trying. To, oh yeah, right. I'm trying to get Nick into that, and he is. Nick, you know, obviously there's that balance. You know, you got to first get to certain levels where you can do certain things and stuff like that. But we're going to be talking about news. I know your opinion is is sometimes different. Sometimes it agrees with me. Sometimes it doesn't agree with me. Uh, I got some shit for on a pretty big show. Yeah. I just said some things. Uh, I'm sure you're going to be getting uh, highlighted. Uh, but I don't give a fuck either. Uh, you get to that point where you are who you are. And uh, at my age, before you two, let me ask Nick this too while he's here with Jude. Jude's doing something at 46. Uh, you're 26. You're loving what you do and everything else, Nick. Would you think you'd have the balls to say something like this? Like, hey, go fuck yourself, laugh. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it got to the point, for sure. Why I mean, not? Do you have I don't think anybody needs mind? anyone, really. Do you have something in your own mind that's like, okay, uh, this is what's going to make me go? Or would, I don't. Because I'd what like to mean? know him always. I try to, I'm sure I have views different than you and Jude, of course, just because of age. I don't understand the question. Uh, Jude had his level. He's not going to take so much before, hey, it's not me anymore. Get the, you know, I, I, I'm cowing to political pressure or political bullshit. Am I right, dude? Tell me if I'm wrong. Well, well, I never, I, yo, I never lied. We just didn't talk about certain subjects. You know what I mean? I never, ever once wasn't myself. It was just we would avoid subjects. We were running out of subjects to avoid. Like, we had this much shit to talk about by the end of the day. I, I know that's like, true. When you politicize what a vagina is, it's a problem. <laughs> it's funny because I remember when I came on your show, it was always fun and it was always crazy shit. Or and I'll bet they did good those shows. Uh, so I'm wondering if you know, you know, and oh no, the show was popular. Is it? No, the show was popular. So it beat everybody else's show, man. No, nobody like. That's why it didn't make no sense. That it, it's it's when a person. When a group of people is so tied on to a certain ideology that they're willing to fucking just like murder their own shit, like this thing was doing good, but like they didn't like it that much, they would kill it. And the other thing is, nobody came and told me nothing. Nobody was like, "Hey, man, chill out with that shit." You you know, Jude. Uh, it, besides even that, I just got I just got done. I got done uh, I, I'll say it here now. I, I I'm gonna say it here now and probably leave it to bed, and then we're gonna go on to some news articles. Uh, first of all, I Thank think you. Sirius is, is going down, down, down from Howard Stern's show to down. Just, I'm being fucking straight as I can. Uh, everybody's more on podcasts or on, on, on the Joe Rogans and Lex uh, Friedman's and all the guys that are willing to say it like it is for as long as we want and can say, fuck you. Uh, I'm not saying you can't say that on Sirius, but they were getting to that point we're up. That's not right. This is not right. It's kind of almost sometimes I get a little bit pissed at YouTube at times. Uh, but I think there's other avenues. You could put them private so you don't get monetized. I get it. You, you'll get who you want. Nick, where are you at with all of that? Just politically correctness? Yeah. I think we're all on the same page, really. I just... <clears throat> it is going way too far, even with YouTube, I think. It's just... It is... It's too much. And it's coming... I think... I think we've hit the peak... And it's slowly going back down. I think there's always peaks of political correctness. And then people get over that shit. I, and now it's coming back down slowly I, with the barriers that people are just now finally getting frustrated and being like, I'm just going to. I agree with I'm Nick. Like, I think people are just like, wait, like people yeah. are like agreed, 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 agreed. Now they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing now? We're like, yeah, it's we, we're a bridge too far. So people are starting to turn. And go back the other yeah, way. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna. Well, yeah, look, I don't think like go outside. Is shit better worse. now or? Was... Well, you, 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 Jude, you're right. I think a like, big person. Ask on yourself that, when you go uh, outside. No, you're you are 100 right, Jude. I think it has a lot to do with. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna give one comedian a lot of credit. Uh, Shane Gillis. He don't give a fuck, uh, and I love that comedian because he got kicked off Saturday Night Live for saying he He's got right. kicked out of. He's great, man. I, I Listen, the guy is not a racist. The guy is who he is. He does great. He's funny. His podcast numbers went up 500% in the next week. He got... Yo, man. Him. Yo, like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of... I'm tired of fucking... Can I say something, man? I'm tired of, like, white people having to say I'm not a fucking racist, man. Like, I'm tired of saying someone's funny and I'm not a racist. Like, yo. 
We don't say that about nobody else, dog. We don't say that about nobody else. And white people are the most, we the least racist people out there because we'll lose everything if we're racist. We lose our job. We lose our everything if we're racist. Meanwhile, like, I, I deal with everybody just says reckless shit about me all the fucking time. Like, they, they be saying reckless shit about Caucasians like it ain't shit, dog. Like, we need to, like, go type in there needs to be less whiteness. It'll be, it'll come up on fucking, in New York Times right now, dog. BuzzFeed like and everything. I wish white people, I wish white people, like, tr- expecting the same energy out of every other fucking group of people that they do from themselves. It's well, you know, you know, that's so true, Jude, because and, I'll tell you what I did with, with somebody like that. I, I had a Spanish guy on my show, and if I believe a person's heart is fucking really trying to hurt people with whatever, I don't give a fuck if you're black, white, Spanish, Indian, fucking Chinese, or a fucking Martian. I don't care. And that's it. I know I got to <laughs> But the... Uh, Nick's cursing me. But I just believe that. Listen, I think we all are who we are already. I mean, I don't care who you are, where you grew up. I am who I am. Yeah, man. Look, and here's another thing, dog. This is a, this is gonna be a real hot take for these people, but like as a Caucasian, man, it's what for me, for my own life living a long time, it would make more sense to actually like if I'm gonna have to pick one or the other. I'll, being around someone that's racist against the other is, is safer for me than somebody that doesn't like me, dog. Like, doesn't that make sense? Like, why would I want to hang out with somebody that's like likes me until they don't you, like? You know, Jude, I think what you, I think what you're really Not saying. I rather I'll, know because they, they don't have any. Out I, I think so. what you're saying is you rather be around true people, whatever the fuck they are, and that is so true. We had a friend of mine who just passed Not- eighty two. He would say the sickest shit, but you know what? I knew where his heart was, and, and I didn't give a fuck. And he was true. You can't hate the fucking truth. Why would you want to be around someone that doesn't like themselves? Like, that don't make no sense, man. That just don't make no sense to me. Like, and that's and this is the thing. Like, people don't... We're so... Like, technology has made us so fucking comfortable and soft that we're able to just ignore... Um, like just kind of scientific shit. Well, like we're just we're able to ignore scientific shit. Every group has every group prefers themselves. The only group that doesn't prefer themselves is Caucasians. <laughs> I don't know if that's because I'm, it makes I'm sense not, I'm not buying that. Like, I'm not I'm buying that. We I prefer myself or whatever, but I know what you're saying, Doc. White people don't prefer themselves, man. They just don't. They've been conditioned to hate themselves. Well, well listen, you don't don't jump everybody, Jude, into into one pool. Well, white guilt is a thing that. Well, white are, guilt. I don't have push. fucking white guilt. No, we, I know. This might but be the first last show right now. Larry so trying to push white guilt. Larry, this is the first and then the last show right now. Just me. I just ruined it all. No, you <laughs> fucking didn't. You opened the fucking doors for fucking Pandora's box, and I love it, man, brother. I really do. You could never piss me off. I won't give a fuck what you call me because I know your heart. And vice versa with everybody in this Let team right you. here. So. Tell me about prison. Tell me oh. about prison. How was I how love was, the, Look at him trying to. I love this motherfucker. He's still a fucking host. He's great. Look, get off of here, Larry. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, let's go. We told everybody we're going to do two, three things, shoot. No, no, no. We said we're going to talk about. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, like okay. issues going on today, how they affect every one of us in this room from our points of view. I want to bring up a topic right now. The United States right now is shooting fucking bombs into Yemen like you wouldn't believe right now. The updates, the strikes, the Houthi because of some stuff going on. I'm going to go first with the young one, then you and then me. How about you, Nick? What do you think about that's going on? Whatever it is, I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> well... When was the last time we dropped a bomb on someone? <coughs> you know, I think it's time to fuck around. So you you you're good with it? Didn't they? What did they do to us? <coughs> We're not up to date with that. They are th- okay to give you what a little they do backstory. To us? Yeah, they are. They were shooting fucking missiles at our ships. Okay, and well, in, in, in they the, started in the it. There. They started it. Yeah. Okay, it's Listen, time to fuck around. They're saying we don't and, belong there. They have a right to their areas and all that. I love it's time shit. for us to fuck around and, and get our get back. I think we've been looking really weak lately. So. All right, this is Jude. What do you think? 
Well, I got to, like, look, man, I don't know shit about global politics. I don't like, either. I'm going to be all the way Me real too. with you. But I do know, I do know this. One, I don't know who is shooting what. Like, like I can't trust nothing anymore. Like, I, I don't know who is shooting at what. I do know that we are in bed with the Saudis. Like, they own a, they, they own a, they own a touch of us. And uh, so... And I do, I do know this. It's like it's kind of crazy. Like, it's it's crazy how the news decides what we should be upset about. You know what I mean? Like, Yemen's been getting fucked up for years now, dog. Yeah. Like years, right? Like this has been going on. This conflict has been going on for a minute, no. and we're finally talking about it. No, not not so really. I'm like, really. why are we talking about it? No, what, not why, not why? really. Not really. That's not true. Uh, obviously, we have know, a, Yemen and the Saudis have been fighting forever. No, that's them. I'm talking about us, uh, you know, being involved with Yemen in any way. You know, throwing uh, we did it on Lebanon. Obviously, we did it on a couple other places, but we did not do it on uh, Yemen. And I'll tell you what, as you two young Man, guys, we need to stop fucking with these Muslims. I just heard two two points of view. We need to stop fucking with these Muslims, well, bro. Let me let me give you my point of Look, view. Bro. You gave me your tw- 46 year old point oh. of view. I'm gonna give you my point of view, homie. The uh, first of all, as an older cat, I do look at world politics a little bit more maybe than you guys. Uh, I also have a non give a fuck attitude because I got 20 years left to live a little bit different. My point being is if we don't look at politics, in fact, you, Nick and you, Jude, should be looking at world politics more than I am because you are both involved and you will be involved. We are a world economy. We are a world uh, literally living together. You will call it what you want. We cannot go back to, oh, just us. Stay alone. That, that, that's unrealistic. Never could happen. So do I think the United States should be fucking kicking ass? You're damn right. Once you fucking do something. Listen, we're the big dogs on the block. We got the big muscles. We got the fucking armament. We got the power. If you're going to wield that power, wield it in a way that don't fuck around. Most societies, most uh, live 500 years. I'm talking about the Huns, the Romans, the Greeks, uh, all way, way, way back to the Mongols, everybody. Give 500 years. We, we're going to be about... Well, we're, we're approaching. Well, yeah, we are. Well, the United States is 200 yeah. years. I'm talking about society itself, the way that things are going to change, who's the powerhouse, whether it's going to be a China, whether it's not, who knows? Who gives a... If in my time, and I still think we're the big dogs, we need one, leaders that, that understand that and, and are able, and Biden is not it, to convey that message to you, Jude, and more Nick. Because uh, one, you don't absorb the news like I do, maybe. You know, the world news, you turn it off. You give a fuck about what's happening right now here in your backyard, which I get. So my point being is uh, our leaders got to give you the reasons why we should fucking be losing people at war. We did it, and I don't trust the government. We did it with Vietnam and fucked that up. Korea fucked it up. Vietnam, I can go all the way fucking through the grenade. Let's Let's chill with the. Oh, yeah. It's just a lot of editing. I guess what I'm saying was this. I, I got a certain distrust for anything we do in the fucking Middle East. It just seems to be like we've been full of shit for a long ass time. I do know this, that everything we do just happens to piss off the fucking Muslims. And and that's not a great idea when you're letting a gang of Muslims into the fucking country. So that don't make no fucking sense. Like, why do we keep agitating this group of people and then telling them to come into our fucking crib? Which is... It don't make no sense to oh, me. Oh, okay. Now, as, as far after. as like war, the war shit... You know, Jude, I'll, t- I, I'll give... As far as the war shit, Larry... I'll give you one, Jude, on that. One, I don't lump all Muslims together. I mean, I, I, listen, I've been with good Muslims. I've been with bad Muslims. They do. Okay, that's all right. You, they I don't lump all whites. Together, I don't lump all anybody. How you treat me is how I treat you. Bro. That, but see, like, that's... Look, man, this is that boomer shit right here. This is that hippie boomer shit right there. That's what I'm telling y'all. This is why it's different. Like you might not lump them all together, but they take that shit personal. They don't. They see. They see some. They see us invading a fucking Muslim country, man. It's not what. It's not how I view them. It's how. I, it's how I know that we're being viewed. That's all I'm saying, bro. And it's not a good idea to agitate a game. Well, well, it's not about agitate. I'll tell you the truth on all of that. I don't believe we should be anywhere. If you want to get my personal down down uh, uh, view total, here's my view. Listen, we stay out of every other country's business. I'd tell everybody if I was the president of the United States, 
Listen, you do any of this shit, little rocket man, you fucking shoot a rocket at one of our allies or us, we're going to wipe you off the face of the earth. I'm not playing these tit-for-tat games. I would be a leader that's going to tell these mother, these people, here's how it's going, end of story, done. Now, a lot of people are going to say yeah. that is very uh, uh, short-sighted, especially with nuclear weapons flying around the world today. So diplomacy has to be part of things, dude. Uh, listen, we cannot believe that. Nick, where do you fall on that? Oh, uh, I, I already said it. I think if they're shooting at us, we got to shoot back. I, yeah, well, we do. Who totally. started this? That's I, uh, Do that's we know who started this, like really? The that's and the, that's uh, like... The, uh, uh, this of, like, this has been between... So this, this is like some shit that I don't even know about. This is like... We're literally, there's like a billion tribes in each fucking country. Yeah, that's over what there, it man. gets so we, diluted. We can't and, even wrap our yeah, brains. That's around. my. It's oh, so shit. diluted no. and confusing that like I don't know who's for who and you know who you lives know, where. Who even lives where? Like I, there's so like dude's so yo, right. There's uh, so uh, many <laughs> groups of people that I don't even know where they're living at. I don't even know where we're at. Yeah, dog. Like, like think about like Iraq needed Saddam Hussein. Iraq needed Saddam Hussein. We painted him as a bad guy because he was he was a savage in our Western eyes. But they needed that shit because there was about fucking ten thousand tribes trying to fuck each other up every goddamn day. No, bro. no, of course, yeah. So you had to rule yeah, with the listen, Iron Fist. There ain't no fucking. They you know, had the Sunni. They, they had they had the eight year war with, of course, Afghanistan. Uh, I mean, with Iraq and Iran, and that kept the peace really. I mean, in check over there, Saddam Hussein did that. We had to check Saddam Hussein because he went into Kuwait and he was getting cocky. And we kicked them out in a hundred days. We we should have charged for oil, but that's a whole nother uh, another uh, uh, podcast. But let me get on to another topic. I get where you guys at that topic. We have a president. Hold on. We have a presidential uh, election uh, coming up this uh, next year, which is tw- uh, this year, twenty twenty four, November. Now I'm gonna go first as the old one on this one. I'm gonna say it like it is. I am a libertarian, so anybody who knows me knows I'm a libertarian. I think Biden is out of it. I don't get him. I don't. Und- I watched him yesterday for a, a live two-hour thing in Pennsylvania, and he was shuffling like my 91-year-old mother. So uh, let's let's get that. Where I'm really whacked in this whole political stuff is how can't the United States of America get two people under 60 years old, under 60? To run this country, because obviously technology-wise, uh, uh, socially-wise, everything, I think I want someone under 60. I do not like Kamala Harris. I think that 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 that, that bitch should get, never be... Listen, I will vote for Mickey Mouse before I'd vote for, for, for Biden, because I don't think he's going to make it physically. Uh, so uh, that's where I'm standing with the political stuff going on. Trump, I like DeSantis again a little bit, but uh, I think Trump's going to win. Where you at? Now you're next, dude. Me? Here's yeah. the thing, man. Like we're in we're in a lot of trouble. If we're in we're in so much trouble, the fact that this dude Biden is getting anybody that likes him. Like like what are we like bro is retarded, man. He's retarded. They keep I don't sh- think anyone they likes that he's him. corrupt as fuck. Like yo, like this dude the fact that he's getting anything in the poll troubles me and it's not about it's not about the election itself it's about where we're at in america it's like yo dog like come on man like this is that dude is fucking he's fucking dumb like he's he's retarded that literally like in every sense like do you think he's running the country when, when he wasn't he was corrupt do you think he's running the country no i don't i don't know what the, i i think i think uh i think the country's been run by fucking giant somebody that I can't see for the last fucking 20 years. Like, I feel, I don't think I've ever seen an actual person running the country my whole life, man, to be all the way real with you. that That's true. A hundred percent. I agree with that. I, I, I think there's a lot of people behind the scenes. But that dude, money like, I, like, I swear to God, I, I guarantee this dude has shit his pants on multiple occasions while he's been in the, I guarantee he has shit his pants. I'll bet you dollars to donuts that this dude has pooped himself while he's been in office. He's a constant. Yeah. I, I, listen, I. you're not wrong. Nick, 
There you we, go. We, we, we got you back, dude. Uh, we lost internet or whatever it is. Uh, I think the government was trying to shut us up. I'm here, you. You see that shit? Yeah. Nick, what do you think? I think that um, the president is definitely a f- the, the face of America. And when everyone has social media right now and the only times you're on social media as the president, like the times you're being recorded are just not looking good back to back to back to back to back. It's not a good sign. Yeah. Just, uh, even even if he was running the – if we were flawlessly running the country and he was still tripping downstairs, it still would not be a good thing. Well, you, you have to be a great – basically, you have to be a, a good actor that everybody likes. You know, like that. even if he was running the country flawlessly, if you're still going out in public and falling off your bicycle – it's not good. If you're walking around in circles, it's not good. Yeah, I saw him shuffle the other so day. So, like, even, even if the puppet masters were controlling the country perfectly and then they still put him up there. They're, pe- they're lacking judgment. Pe- yeah, people would still be like, well, get this joker off the screen, <laughs> you know? Get this, get this joker, joker off, off the, the TV. Uh, yeah, you want to see someone that is doing good. <laughs> like, yeah, I that you're like, that's a healthy man right there. Okay, right <laughs> now, if you had to vote, Doug, you remember when Trump said go Fifi? What? Who? If I, the the Fifi? I'd vote for Trump. If oh, I you'd vote to. for Trump? Trump yeah, all day. yeah, Nick? Huh? Who would you vote for? I'm not voting. You're not voting? No. Yeah, no. man. Like, He's not. Oh, we're going to get him on that. I like it. Okay, yeah. you're not voting? No, gun to your head, bro. He's not voting? Huh? You're not voting. No, I'm not voting. That's not, that wasn't a oh, choice. It's yeah, Trump all the way. Choice. Okay, so it's Trump all the way. I'm not voting either. I love it. The, the shows are great. He's way more entertaining yeah, than it. fucking Biden. And you see I want to watch looked- somebody fuck around. I don't want to watch somebody fall the fuck down. That's what I want. Does any of you two think about, like, we look, hey, do you guys think about look- major war or do you guys think about really major conflict? Uh, in this country, uh, in the world, and do you guys think about that? Nick doesn't. I know that he don't give a fuck, uh, uh, dude. I guess he thinks his 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 opinion doesn't matter, which is probably right. But where do you stand on that? Look, man, this is the thing. Like, it's it seems to me like war has affected immigration. So it's like every time we fuck with some country. We end up getting the same people we fuck with. I don't think that's a good idea. So, like, just for my own selfish shit, where I'm not even talking about, like, senselessly killing people, I don't think it's a good idea to go disrupt other countries and then let them in to our shit. It almost seems like the people that are making these decisions no longer, I don't even think they, they view themselves as living in a certain country. Like, they're so rich, they just hop all around. So... So I don't think I don't think the I don't think our own country is loyal to us. Clearly, they're not. Well, you know, listen. I try to just. So give, is it nice to kill people? No. What? What? It's even worse when I got to deal with the people who are killed. Hey, dude, how I look at things as a as an older guy too is I just look at me look at more of the immediate shit happens to me. Nick at twenty six. Do you think about the future a little bit? You, Joe, at 46, still got a nice good 40 years left. Me, I'm fucking down at a 20-year mark. And and I look at Nick, he's got this whole life ahead of him, pretty much. But uh, listen, everybody has to do it. I'm, I, I started to realize that it's not me that any of these politicians got to change. It's you or Nick or the younger people. Uh, and I don't think they can. I think Trump is the only one who's got to... To understand the young people and and by, he has changed like people and he's literally Ted Cruz, changed people's your wife's minds. A dog. He's changed people's you know? minds. You <laughs> think know? about what Shane Gill said. Ted Cruz, your wife's a listen. I remember that out of all the debates now. So you got to look at that. And I think I don't think these yeah. these people are born in the in the right time. That's why I want somebody under sixty, Jude, who can maybe understand a little bit about tech or whatever. I. Th- I think that, like, if you really look at it, man, that's kind of like, it's a, uh, I don't know, man. I, my generation is not that good at shit. It seems like the, it seems like it's the old ass boomers, the super old boomers, and then my whole generation is just not good at leading. And I bl- and I all the Gen X motherfuckers, like, we should be next up. And back. I blame my generation, the boomers, for fucking that up. To be no, honest. I blame it. No, that yeah, generation was literally cut. You guys were cut. <laughs> In half by people you know, who couldn't adapt to the tech and people who 
adapted to the tech and now have like way too big of an opinion. That whole generation right there was literally cut by the. Well, you know, you're right because the, the tech the greatest innovation. generation was the before me, which fought in World War II, and they did it for a reason. I wouldn't say that's the greatest in- well, generation. Well, listen, guys who went up against anything before you. Like, wasn't that the that's Great called. Depression? That's no, that's no, that's the the greatest generation. What a smug asshole! He's so uh, smug. It, <laughs> How is that Isn't great? He, How is waiting in line for a can of beans the greatest generation? That's the pussy ass yeah. guy. See, he don't. Uh, okay, you need to fella. learn history, Nick. I love this now. What? Yeah. Why? Because if we didn't have the generation Yo, before mine I'm, who fought for this country, we'd all be speaking German. Okay, but they were there. It, 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 you can't just change the timeline. It happened. I said the greatest because they stood up. Oh. Would this generation stand up if we oh, were invading? Oh, so the greatest we're putting on, we're, we're, we're giving like categories to greatest. Get him, dude. Nick. Did they have Anastasia back then when they got their arms blown it's off? Like, Nick, the, that's the time. The time is. Go ahead, dude. The, the war happened. The, the war happened 10 years after the like. That was the that was the thirties to the forties that uh, uh, guys were guys were in line begging for fucking food. Yeah, that was when the and stock market crashed in twenty nine. Late forties, then there was a forties on. So it's like two separate generations there, dog. He, he's mm-hmm. right. My grandfather. It's two separate right. generations. You're he talking is. About, you're speaking on. I believe the generation you're talking about. My dad was in, a child during the depression. He was born in nineteen twenty eight. So he went through the depression, hit twenty nine into the thirties, and then. After in the late thirties, where got- yeah, you're a kid of the depression, right, right. So us young guys, like who were born after yeah. the war, are different. But the guys are born right, like my dad. Who listen, my dad was seventeen yeah, years say, old, his- seventeen, and a lot of older dudes lied about their age to get to the war because they believed in the country we stand. In. You know, would you? So do what that? makes it the greatest generation? Because they stood just up. because the way they thought. Their heart. Their, okay, their see, love we're, of yeah, okay, see, we're taking it two different well, stands. I was taking it as like innovation. Like when they got their arms blown off, the, how good was that anesthesia and the surgeries and the life expectancy? Well, everything's going to evolve. You can't okay. go back. Oh, what has y'all, what have y'all invented, man? Yeah. Nick, what have you guys brought to the table except for complaints? Like, Us? honestly, we 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 broke down, we broke down employee I and business, done. employee and employer. We've broke down the fact that, like, people these days don't have to take shit from anyone and they can go out and actually make their own living off of... An, Once again, out of, they didn't uh, bring anything iPhone. tangible. They're bringing the ideas. And, you know, if you, you either, I don't know. You're either making something or you're destroying something. Mm. No way, y'all. Well, you know, yeah, no dude, way, I, y'all, bro. I, That's old hey, dude, tech. Stop. Dude, I got I to stick up for his... If you want to talk about the young. Right now, look what's going on with AI. Who's really doing that? That's the young. Probably some Gen X motherfucker, man. <laughs> you're pro- yeah, you're right. Elon Musk and uh, Lex Friedman age. and shit like that. 40-year-olds. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> Probably some of my age. That's true. So, okay. Look, man, y'all gen- I could I could literally lock I could lock one of those one of one of his generations in a room with me and I could get them to kill themselves just with words. You're gonna have to pick it. Like, that's a problem. Uh, I don't got no problem. Uh, you know, you're really going after the fucking the, the little guys. Or whatever. What, what, I don't even know what their generation is called. Hey, we gotta, no, I think... I think I'm going to get off my no, long here. guy. I'm you're going to no, take that? No, no, right I, no he, I'm he trying to tell talk. You, he can manipulate you to kill no, yourself, he's, and you're going to take grouping. that shit. He's doing what he's doing, and he groups. Judas, I, I now know he's grouping everyone into one lump. Oh. Jude groups people into lump sums. He's talking yes. about the... the, yes. the the non-binary, yes. non-gendered Twitter tweeters that he can do that to. There are a bunch of savages out here that are literally my yeah, age that can lock an old person in a room and make them kill themselves. And I starve them you to know? death, these <laughs> fucking heartless little pricks. Hey. Hey, yeah. If if I had to figure out email, I would kill myself. He's right. You know, I'm like, not, he's... he's Play that shit with me trying to figure out the email. If earlier, I would have kept, if He's I would, right, I would if die. I would not have started the show, the the, the dude, don't say that these guys haven't invented and anything. Then, and then made They're you slick. figure out your They're mic. Slick. What if I made you figure out your mic out without starting the show? Oh. Could you have survived, dude? Oh. Okay. Uh, well, no, no, uh-uh. no, you're right. I'm, I was like, 
Yo, you I was muttering. I don't know if you're recording no, I, the shit. Chop up a whole bunch I of I should have been. Sh- I should have been recording. I really was like, like I want to I I dude, I was thinking that same thing. I was like I want to record. You should have. I want to push the record button. You should have. He, he was literally my, that what a great word for it. He was under his breath. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was like Getting pissed, he was just adjusting his beanie for no reason, <laughs> taking it on and off, and just adjusting it. He was getting so mad. Yeah, I love it. Hey, look, Jude, Jude was not fucking kill all of it. I'm still <laughs> agitated. I'm still agitated. You saw the energy. We're gonna get it right though, Jude. Bro, cause... I was in a good mood yeah. before I tried to do all of this shit. Now I'm like, <laughs> hey, man, hey, and hey, stuff. It was hey, all because hey, of the email. Calm down, jerk off, <laughs> it's, it's, feel better. You'll be all right after you get off the thing. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the. the he said you can't. Sleep. He said you can't sleep. Uh, oh, listen, your wife! I you bet listen, your wife is I'm hitting the dildo. You, Jude, <laughs> as as a dude who's been through a lot, I look back at my life and say, you know what? I lived in a prison cell. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I don't care. And I'll tell you another thing, dude. I look at things like just a little bit different. I you said something when we got on the on the on the call today and on the show. You said, Larry, you man, you've been grinding for a you right I have. And I love the grind. Because I had a dude on my show as a good friend of mine. You'll meet him. He sold the Apple iTouch, you know, for $370 million to He and needs he to grind it and grind it. And he's he's advisor for my company now. And as he said, you know, I grinded. People don't know. They grind, they grind, then they realize how much they know at I think- the end of that grind. You know, you, Jude, grinded for 20 years. And you know a zillion things you don't even know you know, whether it's people, whether it's how things work, whether it's audiences, uh, uh, social issues, a lot of things, because you've grown. Now, I look at Nick, and then you, and then me, and I even say to myself, dude, as much, how much more are you going to know when you're my age, just going through now, restarting your life again, having fun? You, you're going to say, wow, man, that was a good I time think, in my life. I think... If I put, I'm not pushing, not pushing back or anything. I don't even Push know what, the, I know I don't know what the opinion is, but the way you're describing life experiences in 20 years with this and 20 years with that. Now imagine this generation in 40 years with all the business and how to actually start a business and all the information that we have right now that we have a hold of that we uh, I take agree. when we're 60 years old. I, I don't even know. I, I can tell you guys. I can look Jude up. Will remember I this. can literally look up whatever I want to. I know. Whatever. And you got to be careful though what you look up. Whatever you I get want in to. The same tribe. You know. Look up both sides, dude. Look up both no, sides. No, I'm of saying everything. just to help myself but in that, like how do I save money? I can go instead of having a parent that doesn't know how to save yeah, money. Like, I can go like, figure I think out you how to save money. Touched on something interesting right there, Nick. It's and this is something that this is a like. Look, man, I like everybody. First off. Um, uh, but like, this is, this is, this is the problem with your generation is there's a, there's a hubris about y'all that because there's y'all, f- the, I feel like everybody feels like they, they can get all this information, but it's like, you only get the information that Google wants you to have. So like, you're not that, like, it's one of the most misinformed generations no, of people I've ever when I'm seen talking that about, think that they know that. What's going no, on. when I'm talking about like. Information. I'm not. I'm talking not saying about. you. I'm no, saying yeah, I know. But I was pointing more of like I'll the, say him. I can literally adapt and learn anything I want to. Yeah, right but now. you can't see the thing is you're gonna only do something you don't like you skill like, wise, and then you yeah. don't give a fuck. You don't care about politics even a little bit, do you? Why am I having to talk about politics? That's not the point that I'm talking. I'm talking about like a skill and a tangible thing that I can make yeah, but something. That skill with. a tangible thing might not mean shit if we don't have a country that could back up whatever law or thing or copyright. If you think deeper, just deeper, that's all I'm asking you, is try to be more well-read. And I talk to people about that a lot. Listen, take a newspaper. But why did I have to go to being well-read? Like, why did I have to... to why did I? Why did we have to take that straight to politics when I'm just talking about well, I was a just physical... Talking like, politics. Say, just say everything's okay and I don't have to worry about politics. I'm talking about I can literally go and be uh, anything... Because I have the knowledge to create, to lay tile. I can go figure out how to do that. Or I can go figure out how to literally create CGI and become a CGI editor for a movie company. You're trying to be so one-dimensional. That you're talking about. Are you autistic? Maybe you are. I just don't know why we have to throw politics into that. When I go to a meeting now, and you're going to be with me and you see me all the time, 
I could speak to a CEO of a company or I could speak to a gangster. So You're still, having yourself well read. So I'm sitting at a, a, a function yeah, yeah, and I can talk not. about what's politically going okay, on. That sports, can be another conversation. Music. Yeah, I can be well read too. But that just wasn't the point I was trying to make. My point, my point and is, then you're just the most important yeah. thing you can do is be well read. And when you get yourself in a hole, yeah, that's bad to get in a hole. I'm just it wasn't try, I wasn't on the politics subject. I'm not about politics. Yeah. Not about politics. Go, ahead, dude. Go ahead, dude. Just to just to uh, stay on topic, but switch it up. I got a girlfriend now, and guess you know how old she is. She's a baby. She's 20. So I got a Zoomer girlfriend, man. I got a Zoomer girlfriend. Look at you. Look at you, homie. <laughs> yeah. So, like, uh, well, I want to have kids. And uh, people my age. Okay. Their wombs are rotting want, out, you I, know. I, so now I got to go. I got to well, I want to go to that topic right now. What do you think about relationships where yeah. one person is t- over 20 years older than the other one. Where do you stand, Nick? Uh, I mean, like, what? Do, I don't care. I okay, really don't I'll care. I'll tell you what I, I don't care. It's hard for me to see myself in a relationship with a 20-year-old because the generational gap is so different with music and culture and going places and my energy even maybe. And I would think back in my mind, when I'm 80 and she's 35, I'm, I'm going to have this girl wiping my ass or doing, I, 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 I don't even, I can't see it. So I, I, to grow old with, I don't think you can because you're going to die way before she But Larry, Larry, she's going to be giving you prostate massa- massages that whole time anyway, so she'll be used to it. It'll be like, It'll just be like a new now if, Like, hey, I remember that time you threw your finger in my ass? If, G- well, no, I think if, I think if I you can sit down more. and... <laughs> there what? can be a generational gap as long as both of them are try- is still can adapt to the other one's mindset. You know, mm-hmm. and still understand why they like something or don't like something. Dude, how long you been with the 20-year-old? Off. Not, not long, but... Um, but to Nick's point, it's like we're. She thinks I'm really harsh because, like you and I, we're from a different. We're like kind of caveman compared to these these kids. Like just speaking like direct, they think I'm fucking. Like it's, I get a lot of therapeutic language from her, like being seen and wreck. I'm like, what are you fucking talking? Like it's it's like I can't wrap my head around that shit. Um, but. I'm I'm trying are, to, you know, like I'm trying to. Are you trying to. to change her? Uh, are you trying to change her? I'm trying. No, nah, not really. But here's the thing. I'm calling bullshit. Like, I, in my heart. Let me, f- I, I, there's a caveat here. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to change her, but I'm saying no in a nice way. Yes and no. It's like, look. She came in my house like this is this is fucking I'm old and I'm from I'm old and from a lower class. She came in my house trying to trying to tell me what to play on my fucking radio, dog. You just don't do that. But like she's from a whole nother fucking generation and she wants to hear Ariana Grande. I'm like, nah, man, we're not playing that bullshit. We playing. I got 20. I got. Well, see, then that's where that thing is. You have to. You literally have to, dude. You have to adapt and then see why she likes it you know you can't just be like we're never listening to ariana grande again I, you can't listen to that around me she's 20 bro oh, you man, have man. to like, you got into Jesus. it I, I, <laughs> if she wants to watch I, mr beast videos she's like Ugh. or makeup tutorial oh, videos on the big boring, screen right. sometimes they're they're gonna have to be on the big screen okay go ahead go ahead dude Look, man, here's the deal, bro. This is this is this is the problem. I think that shit is satanic. Like straight up, like I think it's soulless <laughs> and satanic. So like get him. So No, like, I, I see where to, he's coming I from. I gotta watch something satanic. It's not her fault. She was raising this weird society. But you're with her. You are with her. And I heard Ariana Grande and I was like, does get she this shit does the she like, like your music? The first time so that's the only thing she plays is Ariana Grande. 
whatever fuck what's her name Ariana am I saying it right Ariana Grande Ariana, Ariana Grande? Grande yeah Ariana Grande yeah man I don't like that bro <laughs> hey she weird to me listen, man okay that bitch started off white okay man. but the she way like you said it bicycle, the man. way you said it out, it sounded She's like weird. you're like a remote controller like you control the TV and uh, and you control the media that's gonna be played well listen I mean both of you guys I you don't yet yeah, like here's the deal. I, I I bought my house. I bought my house and I pay the mortgage and I decide what the fuck is playing in my house. Okay. That's it. I see I, like, I agree come, with that. You don't come in here making demands. I totally agree with that. This is You don't come in making demands. That's the whole Oh, it point. was a demand. Like no and that was the that was the thing. Mm. Know your place. If I say nah, she said, Hey man, I said you could pick Pick what you want to listen to. I got 2,000 records. I didn't say she couldn't decide oh, what she wanted to listen okay, to. Okay, okay, okay. I just said I'm not listening to that. So you put her in your box. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're, she's in your box. It's like, yo, dog, you got free range of the okay, house. Okay, when you go to her house. I don't go to your house because you don't have no shit okay, together. If so. you go to her house, she plays what she wants, correct? You okay with that? Yeah, but guess what? We don't go to her house because I got my shit together. She doesn't. So why am I gonna why am I gonna listen to someone who doesn't have their shit together? Shit. Like why would I have their why am I taking orders from someone that can't even get a get their get a rent a place? Like we're not doing okay, that. Okay, now I rest so, my case on a few things right there. Why be with her? Then why be with her? Then why be with her? Case the age difference alone. Because I like her. Well, you like what? Uh, are you I like, like, yeah, that just I sounds, like a twenty year old? I know that just sounds yeah, controlling. Personal. Yeah, that's controlling. I like a twenty year old that's hot. Tight body too, bro. Dog, it's not controlling. It's 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 a principle of it. It's like, hey man, it's like it's it's how you do it. It's just how you do it. You don't like the fact that I sound controlling and she sounds entitled. She she feels very entitled. Okay, to me. I'll tell you where I come from. Like you don't just get to come in and tell me. Listen, this. I, I'll tell you where I come What's from, that? dude. Just where I come from. If I'm with a younger person and that person, twenty two year old. And she got the hot body that I want. I'm going to give up something that maybe I like. Say, man, I got this 22-year-old. Well, that's you. I got And if she's willing to do it, hey, more power to you and your control. Hey, I'm not knocking that, bro. I'm saying for a long-term relationship, pretty hard unless you are willing to look at the other side. Check it out. I love to be different. I love to. I like when I you know like rap or certain songs. Yo. What? Go ahead. Don't get mad, brother. Let me qualify this. Don't get first. mad, brother. Don't Let me get just mad. This, because you're right. This was like this was this was one of our first times hanging out. So you got to set a precedent. You got to set a precedent. And so like, and we end up listening to her fucking song anyway. So here, there you go. Oh, like it was the, okay. Way. See, this is the whole. That's the whole thing. It's we didn't know this was the first time you guys were hanging out. You hear what he said? He, yeah, man. Like, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not like. Listen, and you want an independent? And, and you, yeah, like I gotta qualify all this I got, shit, dude. Straight up, you wanted to get in her pants. You let her listen to Ariana Grande, and I get it. I would too. I would too. Well, I wanted to hear what she liked. I just I wanted to hear what she liked. I just didn't like the way she did okay. it. Okay. It's like, are you asking me? Or are you telling me? But like, that's a weird cultural thing for me. That's it. So, so it's it's a it's an age thing and a culture thing. And then back to you, Larry. Like you letting fucking pretty girls get their way is ruining it for Hold everybody, on, bro. man. Like See, you're missing the point. Good looking people are you're crazy. You're taking me for being yeah, stupid I don't when think you that's say what he that said, because yeah. if I let them get their way, it is oh. for a reason. Don't ever think it's not. So you're saying, oh, you let them get their way. If I get, but they don't know that. Listen, if I let, even better, if I let them get their way and I get what I want, who's fucking winning here? Or who is winning here? Me. You're killing society. I ain't killing anything. I'm getting mad. I I love it. You can fight with me on this one. I will tell you, when Larry can get a 22 year old hot young woman, and I, I didn't say I haven't. How's that, bro? But. Do I know? Am I smart enough to realize why it is or this or that? It, there could be a lot of reasons. You know my life. I'm an open dude. I'm wild. I get it. And I like my life the way it is. But, now, I get yours big time. I know you well. And I respect it. But don't think that we talked about a relationship being X amount of part. 
where does that end? I mean, do, would you, what do you sign a contract that so you have to listen to me for the rest of, I don't, you know, there has to be a give and take in a relationship. No. You're, look, man, you guys are all the way, look, I'm not as unreasonable as I sound to be quite frank. I know frank. you're not. Like, uh, <laughs> I understand that it's, I understand that it's compromise in all, in all of that. I guess what I'm, my whole point was this. It was this crazy sense of, I, I've never seen no shit like that, man, where people just go up in your crib and it's like, this is what I want to hear. Oh, yeah. Like, See, gonna, like, when you started, like, you didn't make I'm her sound like she like walked in your crib and was like, I own this motherfucker. That's not how you made her sound. When you, I guess you should have made her sound like that. Because if but she was, if she sounded like that, I'd be like, "Your music's fucking trash. Fuck your style. This is what uh, we're listening depends to." Depends on how if hot she, she is. I don't know. <laughs> if she walked up in there like a bitch, and She's, not saying not calling her a bitch, but she wasn't a bitch. But if she had an attitude to it, it all I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. I, I came to Larry's. I came and stayed with Larry. I didn't even I didn't even say what song I wanted to listen to till like two days into us hanging out, man. Like because it's Larry's you fucking should've. place. <laughs> you should have. You should have. My brain is my brain is like he plays. I'm his guest. I, I listen to what he wants to fucking he did, listen to. So he man, didn't too. I, I remember that. Simon. It was Paul Simon for like two days. It was Paul and as Simon soon as he spoke days, up, I was like, Larry, "Thank God, crazy. dude!" <laughs> I was like, "Thank God, dude!" Spoke up. Well, that Jesus. was a great time. <laughs> We're gonna do that time too. So. So, so that's what I'm saying. Like, I just, I come from a place where you just, there's certain things you don't do. There's certain faux pas. And it, it was less about the, it was, it was more about a generation of entitlement. That's all I'm saying. And, and I get that. It, I, 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 what it boils down to this, it's like, a, it's a, it, there's a certain level of entitlement. Uh, uh, listen, that goes for every generation, I think. But oh, we'll go, I want to jump on another quick subject before you got to go. Quick subject. You're a man of, like me, of the down low, you know. Okay. Uh, what do you think of that dude who jumped the, 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 the judge's bench and went after that judge? Did you see that? Did you see it? Yo, dog, I know you're not going to like hearing this shit, but, like, yeah, I saw it, Larry. It seems to me, like, the more understanding we are, the more bullshit we got to understand, man. And it's it's like... We just letting everything slide. Yeah, they didn't let that we're, slide. We're letting everything slide. With this, this racket, fella. Dude, we didn't let it slide. In fact, like I think he was gonna jump listen, in anyway. In but fact, dude, it's, I'm, it's hard. I'm pushing back, and I'm gonna tell you why, bro. He got life. They did not. <laughs> they're gonna get it. They did not let it go. He's been charged with 13 counts. I did a video on it. Attempted murder on a, a person over 60 and a protected person. This kid is going away for. A long, long, long time. So there is a consequence. So we didn't let it go. Oh, was that was that before or after? No, that's after it. No, no, I'm not saying him. I'm not. Was it? Was that before or after he jumped on the judge? No, no before after, he jumped. No, no, no. He before got, he jumped on the judge. It was like 19 months or something. No, 19 right? to 48 months is yeah. what he got on his original charge. Then after he did, that's my point. After he did that, this <sighs> dude is going to. He got slapped with 13 counts. 12 felonies, one missed them. This kid's going away for a long time. No. So that's, well, that's my thing. Well, my point is this. I, I watch I watch people just disrespect authority all over the place. So that's what I meant. Leading up to this, like, all you see is like, oh, I can mush a cop in his face. Oh, I can twerk on this motherfucker over here. Oh, I don't got to listen. I don't got to follow that law. So when you set a precedent of like, Maybe it's legal. Maybe it's not illegal. Oh, yeah, like, we don't even know it. We don't even know it's even like, oh, maybe I can jump so over. So it's this. like, that's what I meant. Like, you know, I'm, I'm not like, I'm not surprised that this dude is wilding out and hopping No, no, no. And I'm going to push back again. And I'm loving this because you know why? Because here's how messed up that is. I don't give a shit who you are, where you're at. Nowhere does it say. Nick will know it. You think he would, whether, I don't care who you're talking. This kid's a street kid. You don't think you know, don't ever mess with a judge. And if you didn't, when he gets life, so be it. My point is, this is going to be an example, and so be it. If the people think they got to get away with shit with a judge, listen, I like sometimes that we push back on bad cops or bad, bad people. But when you push back on a judge, and I tell people, that's not the way to change something, because that judge will mess you up. And, and that, that, that goes, you know... 
I don't think I, I don't think he yeah. thought he could do that and get away with it. I don't think that at all. Well, he is mentally ill too. I don't think he understood the sir. I don't. I don't think. He, I don't think he thought how he's, bad he's, he was going to. Yeah, he up. is great. No, he's not crazy. Oh not no, he's mentally. Bit. Yes, he is. He's not. Yes, he he's is. He's not even classified that. Okay. Trust me, he's not. All right. That's why he's charged with that. His defense isn't uh, an insanity defense. Okay, you can still have mental problems and not. Everybody's claim, got mental yeah. problems. I got mental okay. problems. Yeah. Doesn't mean I, right. I'm not responsible for my actions. I this didn't kid, say. No, I never said I'm that. Me. No, I never said don't have him liable. But people do snap, and that's a mental Absolutely. illness. Absolutely. I snapped a you lot know? in my like, life. So. Trust me, and I'm lucky I'm here. Like, but uh, I look at like things that, that say. Some listen, people really but, mentally cannot control their. Emotions, well, you know what? like other people. You I'm not what? defending then, him then at all, but I'm telling you, yeah, it, it, it was a, a string of events since he was a kid. He's put in foster homes, and his, I don't no, what I'm saying give is an excuse his for foster kid, mom. Nothing. His foster mom I mean, literally yeah. came out and was like, That's "This has good. been going on forever." Like he literally cannot control that? his emotions. His foster mom. I don't give a crap. He controlled his emotions. I, until Larry, he knew. I'm just saying. He literally. I'm not saying he shouldn't. The kid doesn't like. Hey Nick, he thinks you it's can't okay. control your emotions sometimes. No, la- okay. yeah, yeah. You just literally can't. No, I'm, I'm Larry, not gonna. No. I, I'm pushing back again. Both of you, young guys. No, I'm Larry. pushing back. You better control your. Okay, emotions. but when you're in the special ed class, I listen. Like, I don't care what bus you on. <laughs> you want a little short green bus? I, I don't care. A, I'm on your side that the the dude literally shouldn't be I was jumping in special over. Special ed. I was in. I was in. Hey. I was in dummy English. Oh yeah, I was. What 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 dummy class did I take? And I did have. I think mine was English. Yeah, yeah, mine was English. Well, but forget your subjects. Yo. Yeah, we're talking about a kid who's functioning in her life, doing all right. He messes up, gets a chance. He's gonna. He had multiple chances, obviously, because this is why they we're gonna put him in prison this time. They gave him forty years for attacking he a didn't judge. Get it yet, dude? He's, he's gonna. He's gonna get. He's it. gonna get slammed. He's going to get them. That seems a little heavy-handed to no, me, man. Heavy-handed? That seems a little heavy-handed Listen, to me, you know man. What, you know why it's heavy-handed? But Wrong that, that, or right? The masses, the masses mean more yeah, than Yeah, no, anything. Jude, you just pushed back on what you said. Is You said that that kid came up thinking he can attack a judge. Now, if we just no. don't, give, don't give him 40 years, then the other Here's kids my, are going to think they can point. attack a judge. This, this, how about this? How about, you, how about we fucking... How about we are tough on crime for all this other shit where the guy doesn't feel like he can hop on a fucking judge's head? Because I guarantee you that same judge was soft on a gang of other people. I guarantee you, yeah, bro. And, and, she's probably, and there's she's nothing probably wrong like the with soft that. on you know, crime. Judge, no bail ass on, judge. Dude, you, know, you haven't been in the criminal justice system as long as I have. And I'll tell you what. We need to temper justice no. with mercy at times. Robert Kennedy, when he appointed yes. 70 new I'm, federal I judges. I didn't say that. But like, said that. What I'm getting at is you... We, Larry. Go ahead. <laughs> like, this, uh, Larry, like, I'm right there with you, but, like, kids are fucking straight up carjacking motherfuckers like it's Uber, dog. So clearly something's going wrong and, and nothing happens to them. Like there's a, there's but a problem somewhere along the way. Kids have been doing that. Larry was literally no one knows robbing what to cars. Do. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You know, listen, they people make bad choices their whole life. It's it's when they get the wake up call. But not like this. Not, listen, Jude. Not like this, bro. Listen, Jude. It's it's a different it's a different level to the shit though, man. I you know I, I, again I maybe tie maybe, a bunch of people down, Larry. I tied people Hello? up. Hundred yeah. people, over a hundred people tied up. So, uh, my, in my, in, go ahead. Yeah, but here's the difference. You were making money. Like, this okay, I will give you that, Jim. Like, this, they just I'll wanted to that, go to Jude. the other side I'll of town. 100% give you like, that. Like, they're, they're just, good, good they're like, they're, li- criminal they're losers, doing it for dude. like clout. No, they don't think, they're like just a bunch of losers doing yeah. crime. I'll yeah, give you that dude, one. Dude, I, I, yeah, it's I, 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 I agree it's with you. It's like, yo, man, you're doing this for That's just me because I come from that. There we go. We found something we can agree on. How have you made it? You made it. You know what I mean. I, and I know you're, I know you're running for time, dude. But I want to let crime pays when you make money. We all agree. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's he's all okay a, if you are making money out of it. There you go. Yeah. Anyway, dude, I know you do have to go. I hate doing this. We're gonna have dude every two weeks. We're gonna do a whole bunch yeah. of stuff, dude. We really are. You know that. 
Uh, we'll call. We'll talk to you off air here. And uh, we got, you know, listen, Jude. I think people are going to really. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to call you from the you car. You got it, bro. Do that. Uh, guys, Jude, Jude, uh, Ru- no more Rude. We're getting rid of that. It's Jude Angelini. That's who our host is with me. Uh, formally. I'm Jude Angelini. Mr. Angelini, thank you very much. I uh, will see you next show. Talk to you later, buddy. Have a good one. All right, everybody. That is Jude Angelini on the recording with us. But we're going to have him. We're talking about a couple of stuff. I stopped that, Nick. Now, with us, let me talk about you and, and I and, and Jude. Uh, I, Jude has a different way of looking at things, which I, I, I like, and that's good. I mean, obviously, uh, I think it's different, obviously. And I think uh, what, what I'm seeing is, you know, Jude, Jude is a, Jude, uh, let me call him what he is. And Jude didn't hear this, so it's going to be fun. He's a caveman. Can you put your mic up? Uh, Jude is a caveman. Oh, you want it up? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You're Jude, just leaning back a lot. Oh, Jude is a caveman. Yeah. And uh, I listen, I love Jude. I think he is the way he is. The way, I hope he stays the way he is. I think he will. Uh, you're not like Jude, and I like when you push back and you tell it like it is how you feel. Uh, uh, obviously, Jude has some good things, and Jude has some old-time things that, you know, you get stuck and I'll tell Jude, if you ever think it's better in back in the old days than it is today, I disagree. So what do you, you know, obviously you push in like back on Jude. like a 1960s tub. Listen, you, you, talk, <laughs> you push back on Jude about having the control of the girl at, at that young age, right? Uh, and are you still there? Is it still in that way? I, should I change my mind in No, I, I mean, you, I don't think you actually... Uh, I know you well, Nick. We work together, and I, I I wanted you to push back a little bit more on your belief of. Well, it's re- that one was really hard because the audio shit. I could barely understand. Yeah, what we're you're gonna get it. Where we're gonna be yeah. arguing. I can see it. It's gonna be. Good. And it was like the news delay was pissing me off. It made me feel like a news anchor. Oh. How he was like he wasn't getting it in time, so he was pausing. No, it wasn't. He, he was getting it in time. He was just literally thinking. I, I mm. saw it, and that's the way Jude is. Oh, okay. So he's gonna think, and 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 I, 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 he's a great fresh perspective because he don't. He, no, he I would, no, I'd say no. I wouldn't say it's fresh. Us. It's not fresh. It's recycled. Let's put it this way. It's Jude recycled. is uh, the the middle one on this show age wise. And I, I wouldn't say he's a mo- fresh. And I think he's more conservative yeah. or more... It's an old-time perspective. Right, that's what I meant. I didn't, not fresh. fresh. No, yeah. I said, I meant a fresh, fresh perspective. Fresh this, this, no, for a, this. A, a fresh perspective. Somebody's for different here. than me. Yeah, for here. Different than okay. you. Uh, I'm more... I want to more adapt to the new stuff. I, I love adapting to new stuff. I still have my own ways. More of mine are like your word means something. You know, that... And I did choose that way too, obviously. So, uh, but I just think he's more uh, Neanderthal, and, and and I love him for it because he's unapologetic about it, and and be that way, you know, whatever that is, uh, and defend yourself. And I always tell people if you can talk to me and change my mind about something, whatever it is, change it. If you can't, then accept the fact that we're gonna disagree on something and and move forward on that. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Wow. So. What do you think? We got a couple of good shows coming up. We're going to have Tallini, my main man, Paulie Tallini, is going to be in the studio. Oh, he's not going to be in the studio. We're going to be doing it. He's going to actually be in Columbia. But Paulie is my buddy from prison, and we're going to be doing a show. Uh, we're going to start it out maybe once a month, maybe, uh, again, every other week. He's got a great, great take on the law and what's going on inside, and we're going to be really delving into prison issues and law issues on this podcast with uh, Paulie and I, we're close friends. We were in prison together. We went through hardships together. So that's a different perspective than the Jude. So why I want to do all these different things is I think it's, uh, I think we're going to give the audience such a balance. Whatever the quality's you, coming up. It, I, we just got to figure out this. Yeah, we're going to figure it out. We, yeah, I, I, a lot of ways we're going to figure it out a little better. But the quality's coming up with the top, with the people, the guests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I think that's important. Anything else to say before I close up for today, Nick? Nope. All right, everybody, you heard we had Jude Angelini, formerly the Rude Jude Show from Sirius XM 45. No longer there. He's right here. You want to talk to him? You want to comment? 
you shoot something in the in the comments. He's going to be reading and answering comments, uh, and he's uh, going to be here more and more, and we're going to work something out where he hopefully uh, can get closer to us or, or maybe move and, and be in the area. And, uh, you know, this way it'll be easy to bail him out. So uh, <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. All right, Nick, you know, what do you have to say, Nick? Nothing. Then I think what we're uh, going to do here, everybody, is... Uh, whoops. We're going to make sure that everybody on this podcast knows what we're doing, where we're at, and this is the real deal. Don't touch anything. Larry Lawton. It's the greatest find yet. Nothing compares to it. But it's definitely something you should hear. This is The Real Deal with Larry Lawton.